right, Coach, coming off a big win uh, over Marshall last week, obviously a little bit longer of a gap between between games than we expected. What's the um, kind of what's the feeling going into this rescheduled, I guess, Western Michigan game tomorrow? Yeah, hopefully um, a good feeling, a positive feeling, a lot of confidence uh, to take from the Marshall game and um, obviously the return fixture of, of Western Michigan where we actually felt like it was probably our best performance of the season, but um, the wrong side of the result. So we'll try and take the positives from 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 that performance and, and remind the guys that there's no guarantee this will be the same type of game. We, we need to make sure that we, uh, we're not naive to think that... Um, will potentially have as much possession or the dominance that we showed at their place and, and we'll need to earn it all over again. So um, I think the guys are in good spirits. The, the the break over the weekend gave us an opportunity to to rest some players, which was also important given um, it was our first stretch of, 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 if you like, playing on the weekend and then midweek uh, for two weeks in a row. So um, a compact schedule for that period. So it really wasn't a terrible time for us to, to get a break. Um, having said that, obviously, we would have much rather played and continued the momentum that we had. And, um, you know, now we'll look to to the end of this season here where we're going to have a busy schedule and, and kind of run the gauntlet, if you will, uh, to finish things off here in the MAC. Obviously, this round robin format um, in the MAC this year is different. Um, so we're kind of getting our first taste of that uh, tomorrow with the second meeting with Western Michigan. You mentioned kind of playing off the game. Um, the previously in the season, first meeting with the team. Um, but how do you think this different format, this different experience to get to play the same team twice in a season, how do you think that uh, is going to help the guys on the pitch tomorrow? Well, it can, it can go one of two ways. Um, I think, obviously, we were incredibly disappointed that we were on the wrong side of that result previously, um, but took a ton of positives in the way that we, that we played. Um, we have to be careful um, that we remind the players that this is a new game. It starts nil-nil. Um, whatever we achieved or earned uh, in terms of the performance in the first game is not our given right. We're not entitled uh, to that when we start the game on, on Wednesday. We're going to have to go out and earn all of that all over again. Um, but at the same time, making sure that we reinforce some of the things that we did very well on the day uh, and make sure that... Um, Again, we'll know what to expect from them to an extent. Um, we've we've obviously watched them play twice since then, uh, both against Northern Illinois, and, and both were quite high-scoring affairs. So we, we we were able to take a little bit from from those games too. Um, but uh, but again, I think when you've when you've played an opponent once already, you do get a sense of, of what to expect. But but then so will they uh, regarding us as well. So they'll be better prepared for us, and I I hope and anticipate that we'll be slightly better prepared for them at the same time. I want to talk for a second about um, going back to the Marshall game, kind of talking that we've talked a lot about that in-state rivalry and how big it was that uh, an in-state kid got the game-winning goal in the match. What do you think that says? Um, I mean, you've talked about this a couple of times, but what do you think that says to um, not only that rivalry, but um, just kind of the quality of soccer that we have here in the state, state of West Virginia? Yeah, there's, there's, there's obviously three, three players in the starting lineup between the two teams. Um, that are from here in West Virginia. And, and obviously we brought on Sam Morgan as well. So um, to my knowledge, I think it was four players, four West Virginia players um, playing in playing in that game. Um, so it, it's great. It's great. I think there has been a stigma a, a little bit surrounding um, the youth level of soccer and, and what they might be out there to recruit. But there are definitely good players. Um, and there are definitely two, what I like to think, elite programs in, in WVU and, and Marshall that are, that are recruiting in state and, and looking for uh, local talent. Um, and again, nights like that, uh, I hope will, um, yeah, if you like reinforce uh, Ike's decision to, to, to come here and, and then other young players that may have been watching that game or been present and, and will be present in future games, both at Marshall and, and at WVU, uh, we'll see that and, and that hopefully might uh, inspire them to, to continue to work hard in the sport and, and get their opportunity um, at, at a school like ours or a school like Marshall's as well. So it, it definitely, um, if you like, uh, adds adds a little element to that local rivalry that you have players from within the state and, and close here to Morgantown playing in those games. Um, so again, what a, what, a, what a special night it would have been for Ike. And, and we definitely hope that that, that helps him um, going into tomorrow's game, going into the, the rest of his time here this season with the team. And, and that that's the first of, of many that he's looking to score as a, as a WVU player. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's talk about your uh, your back line for a second of your defensive unit as a whole. Um, four and zero when uh, recording a clean sheet. I think that says a lot about the defensive effort. Um, what? How important is that going to be going down the stretch here? As we have, um, like you said, a lot of games left to go here. Um, and I mean, let's just talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the group collectively should take a lot of confidence from the resilience and and the defensive solidarity that we've shown up to now. Um, it's still obviously early days, um, but we've been pleased. Uh, and I think when you look at results across the board, it's 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 not often at the Division One level, and then certainly within the within our conference, it's uh, you see too many blowouts. Right, the, the games are the games are often decided by one goal. Um, so we're very much in the game if we can keep a clean sheet. And, and as you said, every time we have, we've gone on to win the game. So it gives us a great platform and a great potential. Um, obviously you know we we need to show that we can go a goal down or that we can concede and still have enough to win a game as well um but for as long as we continue to keep clean sheets uh, i think we'll continue to have some some pretty good results and uh, it's not just the back three there's a whole collective uh, effort from from the team and, and from everyone knows that there's there's an expectation and a role defensively um but I also believe that if you're the team with the ball, it's very difficult for the opponent to score. So we want to continue to improve in those areas, um, you know, have even more possession and, and territorially play the game even closer to the opponent's goal so that we are less dependent at times on, on uh, that defensive unit. But as, as of right now, they've, they've stood up to those tests um, really, really well. So we've been very, very pleased with, with, with that group of players and, and if you like, that, that group of defenders that, that do get the credit for the most part for those clean sheets.